Hi, I'm Justine from Babes on the Run and I'm here today to take you through week two of your six week challenge. We're going to be doing some interval training again today. Um, initially, what we need to do is just warm up a little bit. Let's get started. We're just gonna jog on the spot, nice and easy, nice and light. All we wanna do is just get the blood flowing, get everything moving around the body, get it used to the fact that it's going to start moving. All right, today we're gonna to do some different things. We're going to do some up and down work. We're going to focus in on some core and some plyometrics. So I'm going to be cueing you quite a little bit. We're going to do 30 second works and 20, 15 second rests. So you've got a bit of time in between to catch your breath. All right, let's just take it up to a little jump. Nice and easy, we're going to do star jumps. Now, today when we're working, you're going to feel a little bit breathless even now. You can hear I'm starting to breathe. What I need you to focus on is make sure for me that you are taking nice deep breaths in, you're keeping that shoulders nice and relaxed and head is tucked. Three, two, and one. All right, so because we're gonna be doing some jumping and things, we're just gonna spend a bit of time working those muscles. So we're just gonna do a leg swing. Hang on to something if you need to. You can use the back of the couch, you can use a chair. Three, two, and one. Other side for me. Nice and light. Now, when you're working with intervals, you're gonna find that your heart rate goes up and your heart rate goes down because we're gonna be doing different kinds of work and that's exactly what we want. And relax. Let's just do some nice big arm circles. I'm gonna do some upper body as well. Good. And back the other way. Good work. Fantastic. So I'm gonna be working with a timer today, so you're gonna hear some beeps, and that's our cues to start going and to, to um, also to have some rest. I'm also gonna be working with a couple of weights today and a mat, that's it, nothing else. I'm using four kilo weights. I'm just gonna set my timer up so that it's ready to go. Is everybody ready to work? Me too. Let's start with a jump squat, nice and light. We're just gonna jump, feet are shoulder width apart. Away we go, nice and light. What we're gonna do, you can see I'm not catching at the top. We're just gonna keep jumping, we catch at the bottom, nice and light. Oh, 20 seconds to go. Isn't this fun? Remember to keep breathing, nice and light. If you're having difficulty with jumps, if you've got a knee injury or something else, you can just squat. Nice and easy, pop it up, don't lock the knees at the top, keep it coming. If you get tired, whew, 15 seconds, come down onto the ground for me. We're going to do something fun called a V up, we've got a couple more seconds now to get your breath back. If you're feeling a bit breathless, push all the air out, take a deep breath in through the nose, and we're going to sink back down and up. There's the V, down and up. Now, if you're feeling this through your back a little bit, which you shouldn't be because your core should be on, what we're going to do is get you to bring your feet up even higher so that you're not taking it so low for us, okay? Nice and easy. Remember to breathe. When you breathe, you're switching on the core and that's what we want. Relax, we've got a rest period. I'm going to get you to pick up one of the weights for me. We're going to balance on one foot. I always like my clients to start on the weakest leg, which is usually the left leg. So I'm going to cue you in for that. We're going to do a deadlift. Hips stay in line. Heel lifts up. Come forward, bend the knee. Fantastic. What I want you to make sure is that you're squeezing the glute. Good, good, good. Everyone wants a butt they can crack a walnut with. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Nice and easy. So what we're doing now, taking the pace down. Whoops, couple of seconds to go. We're still working, we're doing some resistance. Change straight over. We're going to, I'm gonna get rid of the rest in this one. Other leg is rested. Straight into the other side. All right, good. That's poetic license, isn't it? And you can change your workouts. You can come a bit deeper. You can come a bit lighter. You certainly do not have to use a weight when you're doing this. It's, it's work enough just 
doing the deadlift. On the side you can see, nice and light, that, your leg is up, all the way through. Fantastic. Oh, that's so exhausting. Let's have a lay down, girls. Coming down, knees, hips, elbow, all in line for me. We're going to do a side plank. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a variation. Hand comes up, leg comes up, bottom leg is bent. We're gonna tap the hip down. Come on up. Nice and easy. So now, what I want you to focus on making sure that those abs are working underneath and you're lifting up underneath the armpit for me. You need to bring that body up and in line. We're keeping the top leg up, nice and strong. Lower down, lift up. Good. You'll feel it in your lower glute, perfect. You'll also feel it underneath the arm, you've got it right. Making sure you absolutely have this elbow under the shoulder. Too far out, you're gonna to put too much stress through. Body's in line. I often see this done like this. So make sure hips are forward, foot is up, we're away. 15 seconds isn't a lot of rest, is it? It's just enough to move from position to position. All right, and remembering, look at that girls, we're already nearly a quarter of the way through. So excited. Nearly there, go, keeping it up, lift up under the arm, make sure you're activating the muscles that you're using, so give them a really good squeeze. One of my favourites, when you're training, really good way of getting things in is to do two things at once. We're going to choose left leg forward first, we're going to do our lunge with a bicep curl. What we like to say, welcome to the gun show. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a joke because I don't have very big guns. It's a very small gun show. <laughs> nice and light, nice and easy. The other thing that I want you to notice while we're doing this, I'm gonna put my weights down so I can point some things out for you. Weight needs to be on the whole foot and you need to keep your weight on the outside. So don't drop through the in, inside of your foot. My knee is staying back behind my toe. I put my back foot back, we're swapping, and what I do is I just drop my back knee to come down, but I don't drop my hips. All right, so you can keep going with your biceps. So what I'm showing is now weight is through that front heel. And when I talk about activation, you're gonna squeeze this front glute for me. Bring it up, oh, there it is. So lunges are fantastic for shaping the whole leg. When you throw something in like a bicep curl, absolutely perfect, because you're getting a little bit more work for us. If you find that you're a bit wobbly, I'm a bit wobbly, aren't I? Feet can come wider. That's gonna give you more stability. Perfect, we've got 15 seconds. We're gonna stay with lunges. We're gonna do something a little bit meaner. We're gonna add a little bit of a jump in with it. You shouldn't be able to hear yourself land. Into position, nice and light. We're just going to do little ones. We're only on week two, so we're going to keep it small and light. When you've had enough and you, you find that you're landing, if you're landing really heavily, step back. Just lunge for us, right? Nice and easy, making sure you keep your form up. It is more important to do it properly than to do more of the advanced version, but to do it and, and make a mess and be really sloppy and use the muscles you're not supposed to be using. See, we're already done. Oh, I feel like a break. Breathe all the air out of your lungs. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Let's plank for recovery. We've got five, four seconds, three to go. Hands underneath your face and bring them together. Breathing in and out. Oh, so relaxing, isn't it? We need to spend more time together just catching up, doing stuff. This is the perfect time. You can think about what you got out for tea tonight. Part of losing weight is making sure that you're eating properly. It's a really big part of it. So we encourage you to really look at the eating plan that goes along with this program. Come down, you've done it. That was 30 seconds. Oh, look, another great exercise. We're gonna do some lateral lunges. I'll show you for face on and then I'll turn onto the side. So what we want to do is make sure feet are facing straight forward. You're going to touch either side of your foot. 
And what I'm going to get you to do for me is make sure that that bottom comes out because that's what we're working. So squeezing it down, squeezing it up, nice and easy, okay? So keep it working. And coming down and tapping your hands on the ground means you're coming right down, sinking right in. You don't want to be bending any extra legs and you don't want to be rolling out through your back. So really make sure that your shoulders are locked back in, your head's tucked back. You're going to sit through the heel of the other side. Got a couple seconds break. Three, two, one, and down. All the way down. Keeping the back nice and flat. We're not letting go. Squeezing it up. And what you'll notice when we do these single-legged things or single-sided things is you'll always have one side which is much stronger than the other and that's so normal. But what we want to do is to do these sorts of exercises because it means that you can even them up. When you have imbalances, it can sometimes lead to injury and we don't want to do that. Oh, fantastic. Let's relax and have a lovely little bit of core work to do a bit of plank. We had a lovely catch up last time. So getting into position for me, hands underneath face. They're not out here, bringing them under, stepping one foot back, step the other foot down, nice and low. And we're breathing. Ah, oh, it's your turn, what do you want to talk about? Yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't get any of that. TV's a bit like that. <laughs> Just taking nice deep breaths, making sure that you're relaxed through your shoulders for me. So there's a tendency sometimes for people to sneak up here, keep it down. And the other thing people do to cheat is this. You want to keep it down the whole time. Nice and easy. Stay down here. Doesn't seem worth it to go back up again. Let's do a side plank. It gives us more time. All right. Oh, I'm jumping the gun. I'm so excited. This is the starting position. We're on week two. This is perfectly acceptable. You can add in a little bit more by straightening the leg. You can also add in an arm. What I want to see if you're bringing the arm in is not this. I see a lot of these. We're all the way back here. It's nice and steady. Find your space, keeping your leg up. Your glute, which is your backside, on the underside is doing the work. Squeeze it. Make it do its job. All right? It's stabilizing. Nice and easy. Come down. Guess what? That was a good practice run. We're going to do the other side. Whew. Who knew not moving could be so much work? Hips forward in line with knees. Nice and easy. Coming up. Staying on your bent leg, if that's where your level is at. And it's really important you work to your level. Got a little bit more in the tank, you can put a foot down. You can lift the foot up, you can put the hand in. Again, I want you to sit back into that shoulder and keep it nice and retracted. Your shoulder blades are called your scapula. So what we call it to our clients is a scapular retraction. Okay, so you've got to tuck the head in and lifting up nice and easy. Good. Fantastic. You know what? It's been lovely being down here for a bit. Let's do some supermen. Or if they should be superwomen. Super people. I don't know if there's a politically correct term, but we'll get onto it. So we're just going to do a little one. Hands underneath the chin. And I like this, especially for people who are new. Sometimes the more advanced version can lead people to lifting up through their shoulders. So keeping it underneath the chin. Squeeze up glutes, squeeze up through your abs, keeping it nice and controlled. All right, so you notice I'm not bringing it up and dropping. We don't want to do that. We want to keep the control going on the way up and the way down. That's the work that you're doing. Wow, another rest. Oh, yeah. This is the calm before the storm. We're going to do up and downs. So we're going to stay into the plank position for me. And if at any time this exercise does get too much, we're going to come back into the plank. All right, so we're going to push up with one side, up, rock down onto the other. Push up again, come down. Push up with the other side. Well done. And are you watching to keep your hands under your shoulders, okay? Try and keep that core as level as you possibly can. All right, so you're not wobbling all over the show for me. We're just keeping it up nice and light. And down, pushing it up. Oh my goodness, that's fun. I'm having so much fun. 
I can't believe it's over already. You know what, we should just do one more thing down here. Just a couple more, then we're gonna go into a break because we're doing a little bit of core. We're gonna get back up on our feet after the break. What I want you to do is come into the plank position again. We love this position. All right, locking shoulders in. We're gonna tap our shoulders. How exciting, hey? Now, are you locking in? The reason this is core work is your pelvis is working or your core is working to get your pelvis level, sorry. So what you wanna make sure is that you help her by being very aware of that. Switch it on, is it working? Is it keeping it level? Remember to breathe, only a few more seconds. If at any time it gets too much, you know you can come into a plank, come down onto knees, keep the core working. All right, you know what? Just got one more to go, just one more. Bring your leg out to the side for me. This is commonly known as a fire hydrant, I have no idea why. Three, two, go, oh, we've started, how exciting. What I want you to do is keep it lifted, right? But I don't want you to slam it down. I don't want you to rest it. So we're gonna keep it working, yeah? Nice and easy. Some people don't have this much range. So bring it back here and work it, that's absolutely fine. What we wanna do is get right in there. Only 10 seconds to go. I'm sure we've been robbed. We're gonna do the other side after this. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, really good. Let's skip the break, we don't need it. See, I love it when we make executive decisions together. We do, we work well together. Can't believe we've never met. Let's go. Lifting it right up, giving it a squeeze, give it an activation. Remember your breathing. It's nice listening to me pant too, isn't it? 13 seconds to go. We're gonna have a drink of water in a second. Just water, we don't drink our calories. Six seconds to go. Bringing it up, four, three, two, and one. Oh, fantastic. Now's the time to grab a drink, not a huge drink. We're gonna have a wee break and I'll see you back here in a second. Welcome back, we're into round two. Everybody remember where we started? Jump squats. It's a good thing I know, isn't it? All right, we're going in three seconds. Nice and light feet, a shoulder width apart. Let's go. All right, another common mistake I see with jump squats when I say to people to have their feet shoulder width apart, they come out here. I'm not sure, not many of us are truck drivers. Making sure that your feet are under your armpits. They're not outside of your shoulders. Just nice and light. Woo! How exciting! This is this last set. Let's go, nine. Remember your breathing and squeezing your glutes. Squeeze everything. Good work, two and one. Oh, I didn't want to stop, but the time is said two. Okay, come on down, we're gonna do V-ups. Make sure now that we've got a little bit of breath out, we're gonna take a deep breath in. Oh, calm the heart rate down. We wanna do good form. Now with intervals, why do we have breaks? Why do we have intervals? Well, it means the more recovered you are between sets, the more work you can do as well. We're conditioning the body, but we're also making sure we can get a little bit out of it. So even when you're starting up your programs, it doesn't matter if you take a break. And, sorry, I thought I heard the beat. You, once you have a break, you can come back and do more. It's an awesome thing to do. So if you need to take a break, you do that. Come on up. Single legged deadlifts for me. Start again on your left side, okay. So anchoring in on the whole foot. Soft knee on this side. Three, two, one. Relaxing shoulders. Coming forward, lifting up. This is not a fast movement. The other mistake I see, keep going with this. I'm just gonna tell you about some mistakes. One is lifting up hips. Keep them level. If you were doing a normal deadlift, your hips would stay in this position. So, we're gonna do that with a single leg. And what we're really doing is getting into one side's hamstrings and glutes. I'm sure you can start to feel the burn, yes? I'm gonna take that as a yes. We're gonna change sides, I'm gonna get rid of the rest, we don't need it. Okay, nice and easy, breathing, coming down. Nice and easy, bring it up. Fantastic, well done, good. I like to get a good concentration face doing this. I usually have a spot to look at. 
Okay. And do whatever you need to do to get through. If you're a beginner, which I'm assuming a few of you are, it is so fine to lean on something. We're into a break already. Come, let's go down. We're gonna have a break. We're just gonna lay around like women do in the middle of the day doing nothing. We're gonna get into the side plank position again. Nice and easy. Pushing up with that hip. We're gonna drop the hip down, lift the hip up. Now remember, we're working through under here. It is entirely possible that you might be sore there tomorrow. Excellent. These muscles help to keep shoulders down and one of the most common things we see is people with a lot of neck pain and upper back pain because they use their traps, which are these muscles, too much. So what we want to do is support those muscles by strengthening everything else down and around the, under the shoulder blade. And these ones help, believe it or not. So the body doesn't just work one muscle at a time, it all works together. So if you've got a problem in one area, you gotta look at other areas to help strengthen it. Nice and easy. Yeah, rest time is over. Come down. Oh, it sounds like we've got an elephant upstairs. Breathing it in. Nice and controlled. Lifting it right up for me. When you're coming down, when I'm saying do a tap down, you'll notice I'm not transferring body weight. Don't transfer body weight. So all you're doing is a tap down because what we're doing is making sure you get the full range of motion, not just a partial range. All right, so it's just a tap. Keeping it coming. Ah, oh, it's over already. Okay, a little bit of a break. No, not really. We're gonna do some reverse lunges with the bicep curl. I'm gonna start with my left leg back again. Right leg is forward. And let's go. Nice and easy. Now the thing I want you to have a look at is the speed that I'm doing things. You can speed that up if you want to, absolutely. We have a little thing called time under tension though. So the longer that you're working the muscle, the more work it's kind of actually doing. So the way to vary your routines, really simply, is you can do the same work, but you can vary the tempo. So you can go slower, super slow, and you can go faster. All right changing sides. I'll stay facing this. So you can do the same routine and get completely different results, which is the beauty of exercise. And another thing you can do is vary the order in which you do things. You can vary stance, which means how you're standing. Very simple. And lunges can be varied to the side, to the front, around the clock. We're just doing a really simple one now. Nice and easy. Getting those biceps working. Good work. Three seconds to go. And relax. Awesome. Have a big breath, because we're going to go into the jumping lunges. Push all the air out. Whew. Three, two, one. Let's go hard, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone who's doing it, nice and light on your feet. Good, good. Nice. Come as low as you can. Well, we're just keeping it nice and light today. Halfway there, if you get too tired, don't push through and have sloppy legs. Stepping it back. Nice and easy. You can keep going. Keep going. Two. And one, have a wee rest. Just a wee one. All right, ready? Stepping one foot back. We're gonna plank. Making sure shoulders are set, they're not up around your ears. It's like to remind my clients that they're not earrings. Okay, they sit back, sit the shoulder blades back. Squeeze under the arms. Use all those muscles that are supposed to be working to keep you in position when you've had enough. You can come down to knees. Keep your plank going. So this is what I'm talking about. So if you need a rest, you can do it while still working. Once you've had that, you come back up again. And remember to just keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Our time is almost done. I think one of the most fun things to do is to go out with a bang and to really work it. So instead of doing all the plank work now, I want you to grab, I didn't tell you about the skipping rope, did I? You're on a need to know basis. 
Nice and easy. We're gonna do a minute of skipping. Get the heart rate up and then we're going to stretch. All right, let's go. Nice and light. We're using a wire rope. I guess like anything in fitness, there are stacks of different things you can do. Nice and light with your feet. So you're not landing with straight legs. They're nice and soft. And bring it up a bit. Oh, how good is that to work? Okay. Sometimes when you are training, it doesn't feel so nice. Don't focus on that. What I want you to focus on is what you want. So you started this program to get results. So now's not time to stop. Keep it going. You think about what it is that you want while you're doing the things that you hate. All right, keep yourself focused. Use your breathing. Five, four, three, let's go. Two, and one. Well done. Nice work. We're gonna start to stretch. Okay. Oh, grab a drink if you need to. We're gonna start with these quads. So, I'll show you on the side actually. What you wanna do is make sure you can get this foot to your backside. Sit the hips a fraction forward, bring the foot all the way up. All right, if you want a deeper stretch, you can push the hand into the foot and then continue to bring it up, relax it out and bring it up. Let's change sides. I'm hot. Someone must have turned the heater on in here. <laughs> and sitting the hips forward. Getting your breath back. Now we're starting to feel recovered because we've stopped doing what we're doing. There's no reason you can't do that routine again because there's a, there's a whole plank in the middle. Some people like to do these at the end. I like to do it halfway through before you get too tired because I get a little bit extra. But you'll find your own way and you'll find your own pattern and learn your own body. Take a deep breath in. Coming down. Your hands for this hamstring stretch need to be on the bent knee. And the other thing that I need you to focus on is your feet need to be parallel. They're facing the same direction. Quite often see it done like this. What we want to do is get right in under that hamstring. That's the whole point. And sit the bottom right back. You're not rolling up through the back here. So if you can see yourself in a mirror or a window or wherever you're working out, make sure you're flat and sitting back, back down. Do a little bit of work through lateral. Just give it a bit of a stretch. There's one. Nice and easy. There's two. When you've done any sort of plyometric work, your calves can get quite tight. I like to work off a step and step back down and make sure that you're all stretched. So I'm gonna recommend that you do that afterwards. We've done a little bit of chest. Thumbs out and back. And under. Okay, there's not much you can do to stretch a bicep. We didn't really use them all that much. Tricep, just nice and easy. We did do a little bit when we did the up downs, which was the plank where we walked up. Any of these exercises you can tack onto any sort of program. You can just finish with the plyometric part and some planks if you want to. So you can use this program over and over again. Keeping the head back when you're stretching triceps, not like that. Keeping the body upright and keeping the chest open so that we're stretching everything. Lace the hands behind the back, bringing it up. A little bit of a stretch. I also love, at home you'll all have doorways, I'm pretty sure, putting a hand up either side of the doorway, lunge through and stretching the chest. You get such a fabulous chest stretch and so many people are quite tight through the chest. So there's varied hand positions depending on where your tightness is. That's it, we're done. I look forward to seeing you again in a few weeks. My name's Justine, I'm from Babes on the Run. Thank you.